Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Mr. Halloween, and today I am in Attleboro, Massachusetts at my second Home Depot review, and hopefully all the animatronics are here, because the last Home Depot I went to did not have everything on display. It was still a good review, but not my best. So hopefully we have the full result when we walk into here, because last year it was absolutely perfect because last year it was full of everything and only one animatronic did not work. We're gonna go in and see right now what they got. Oh, I can see it. Hopefully everything's over there. But you can see the bright lights from all the way over here. I'm looking over everything and yep, it's fully loaded. They have everything. Everything is here. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, let's get started. We're gonna start off right here with my man Frankenstein. For some reason his eyes and head is it his eyes aren't moving, they're not lighting up. I wonder if his head's connected correctly. But that is not exactly what he does. This is my favorite animatronic here. It's 279 but he is not working properly. What's behind him? The grave digger. Let's hit him. <laughs> you sure look fresh and clean. You've never had to claw your way out of the earth before, have you? Ever wonder what it's like to be buried alive? Well, maybe tonight will be your lucky night. <laughs> Today's a cool, because Here's one of the coolest of all time animatronics I've ever seen. I believe his name is the Jack of Spades. And it is. I mean, hopefully he works, because at the last Home Depot he didn't. He turned on. Look at the cigar. Oh, he's bringing a cigar to his mouth. His jaw moves, his head moves, he's got red eyes. Oh, he's awesome. Look at his wardrobe. Straight gangster. I love him. He might have overtaken my favorite one, to be honest with you, over Frankenstein. That is absolutely awesome. Speaking of absolutely awesome, where is the button to hit this giant 12-foot Grim Reaper? I'm looking over here. I don't see it anywhere. Frank, is there a button for that big Grim All right, Frankie found the button. Go ahead, hit it, pal. Oh, his chest lights up, turns different colors, his head, his mouth moves. Can't really hear what he's saying, though, but that is so cool looking. Oh, I'm just realizing he's, he's levitating. He's off the ground. He's on a stick. That makes it even more badass. Wow. That is awesome. Look at that sickle. It's like four feet long, just a sickle. This looks like the prop they have at Square Halloween, too. Let's see what she does. The lights are above her. Makes a pop in nighttime. Look how cool that is. So cool. This witch I just purchased, she is at my house, and I also. I'm getting this cauldron that's right next to her right now. Let's check out that cauldron, what it does. For 100 bucks, that's a deal. It makes noise too. But the, I can't wait to see what it looks like at nighttime because you really can't see the lights too well. But here's the witch that You're I purchased. $100, good animatronic, mouth movement, vocals, LED lights, and she... This Home Depot is loaded. There's a whole nother side. I didn't even notice this little crow over here. Is there a thing for her to... Is it just turning on on its own? 
Yeah, it's not hooked up or anything. But here's the dog. Does he turn on? Is there a button to press? I don't know. He's not turning on again. Just like the other Home Depot. How about this little girl? I don't see anything for her either. This guy likes to point at people. He's like a cool guy for the entrance of your haunted house. He, point, he points in the direction you should walk. I really like that idea. Oh, he's only 100 bucks also. Wow, that's a good deal. Holy crap, I didn't realize how cheap he was. He looks really good for a hundred dollars. Wow. Oh, that's a deal. Another hundred dollar animatronic. It's only five and a half feet. They look like they're related. But there's just so much going on over here. This is just one side. We have a whole nother side over there. I see my favorite vampire of all time too over there. <coughs> right next to that pumpkin stack. It's the most realistic looking Chucky I've ever seen. This volume is really low. He's got a H on his forehead. I've never been sure how to pronounce his name, but he is the most coolest looking vampire of all time. He's the first vampire of all time. So awesome. Look at his wardrobe. It's like Nasa Mantu or something. You can't really say it. They call him a Victorian vampire. He's called the Fair Valley Wolf. He looks like he's been through a few fights. I, that looks so realistic how his mouth looks up like that. Oh, sorry. We got the three stack of clowns back there. He's hidden behind everything, but we're just gonna try and hopefully. Yeah, we're catching everything. Those three separate, and you can have three separate animatronics out of it too, just so everybody does know if you don't already. But they stack right on top of each other and they can be separated. A nine foot murderous maple. I'll definitely pop in the middle of your yard. Nice centerpiece to your display. Looks like a legit tree. I'm not even joking. They did a great job with the details on that. Looks awesome. Even got moss on there. Home Depot brought it this year. I'm sorry. They're number one. Spirit Halloween, you cannot compete with Home Depot anymore. Now, the eight and a half foot knight Doolahan. That's his name. Looks like another headless horseman. It's not on, which sucks. That would have been awesome to see. But it looks like he's plugged in, but there's nothing, no like step pad for him. I would really love to see him. We got a Captain Cuts over here. Seven foot Captain Cuts. Let's hit him. Oh, he's got a parrot on his shoulder. Can walk the plank. But empty your pockets first. Wow, he looks legit. Be mean, he looks like a legit His wardrobe. Give his little hook. His sword lights up too. 
Got a light in there. You done found me secret map, and I can't be having that information leaking anywhere. You should have thought about your life before you dared to find me treasure. <laughs> good vocals. That's, that's a good voice in that. And here is the Plague Doctor. You seen him last time, I really like him. Nice seven foot animatronic for 200 bucks. Oh, I didn't even notice that on the last one, but his pole lights up in the eyes. Oh, he lunged out at me. He just keeps going. Home Depot did an amazing job this year. They did. You trained that one in, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Here's all their lighting. Always gotta look at the lighting. Lighting makes everything pop. Some walkway mockers. Got some chucky ones. Try me? Is there a button? Uh, I don't see it. Some creepy dolls. Oh, something about that Raven I really do like. Something's telling me to buy it. And it's only 40 bucks. It's really heavy duty. That's it weighs probably like solid 15, 20 pounds. Home Depot number one. It's for Halloween. You cannot compete no more with Home Depot. How can you let a home goods department store destroy you and what your special is? Halloween. They got more than enough of everything. Look at this. They got everything. And they're they're decently priced. Spare Halloween charges you out the you know what. I really love that gargoyle up there though. That's only a hundred dollars, that giant gargoyle. If that was in Spare Halloween, it'd be 250 bucks. They got a Chucky. They got a marionette. They got tons of these in stock. Tons. They got a little little Beetlejuice, a little Beetlejuice. <laughs> but I tried to go as fast as possible for all of you, so you're not sitting here for 25 minutes looking at each individual thing. I'm just going as fast as possible for you. So you can get on with your day after watching. Hopefully you watched everything. Wow, that looks like a demonic pumpkin. I've never seen something like that before. But we're close to the end here. They got your 12 foot skeleton and what I am in love with. The 12 foot Raven Bones, giant size color changing LED levitating Reaper. Those are all the colors right there you can turn it into. That is amazing, absolutely awesome. I just left the Home Depot and it was the best review of the entire year of any store so far. They had everything, had everything in stock. When I tell you that place was jam packed, I had to rush through everything because there were so many people behind me, so many people going underneath me just not to get on camera. I'm sorry I had to rush everything, but that's how good this store is. It was jam packed. People were, stuff was flying off the shelf. People are fighting over some stuff. But this is the best one I've been to. It's the Home Depot in Attleboro, Massachusetts. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. And I will always catch you in the next video.